The images are staggering. The West Coast is engulfed by multiple fires raging. Contrast that to the images of hope we see here. In North Texas, firefighters heading into the inferno. We're positive. If we, if we were anxious or had any fear, then we wouldn't have agreed to come on this deal. Brody Eakin is a 12-year veteran of Flower Mound Fire, part of a strike team from North Texas driving into California Sunday. On these wildland fires, it's more of a marathon instead of a sprint. So, you know, we have to adjust our operational pace. Brody left Friday, had to leave his wife and two boys to fight the fires that have already claimed over 3 million acres, the largest in California history, but more importantly, 33 people. These wildfires are driven by topography, by weather. Sometimes they create their own weather. So the rapid growth and the firestorms that they've seen are just unexplainable, unimaginable. Frisco and other agencies have sent their second set of teams of firefighters Sunday morning. Fighting these fires are teachable moments too, and reminders that we are not alone. We've signed up to serve our local community and having these opportunities to go and help for the greater good, whether it's across Texas or across the United States, we definitely thrive on that. We are told there are over 40 strike teams just from Texas. This strike team will return in 14 days a grueling two weeks fighting one of the country's worst fires. We know y'all are thinking about us and praying for us and we appreciate it and uh, you know, we'll see you soon. In Flower Mound, I'm Joe Panicker.